Um, the Nature of Love is the story of uh, Sophia who's turning 40 and she's a philosophy professor and she lives with uh, her um, partner for 10 years and they have a really good social life and, and family life and, and a good relationship um, and they buy a country house and the day they have to meet the entrepreneur for the work of the country house, he, ha he can come so she goes along and she falls madly in love with this uh, entrepreneur who has nothing to do with her own uh, uh, environment. Mania and I are, are best friends, and I first uh, read her script maybe four, four yeah. or five years ago. Yeah. Um, it was the first version of her script, and um, she uh, I read it before she offered me the part, the character of Sophia. Because she's my first reader, one of my first reader every time on my screenplay. I completely fell in love with the script, obviously, but especially with the Sophia's character. Um, I rarely wanted to play a character as much as I wanted to play her, but it was a delicate matter with uh, Mania. I didn't want to put her in an uh, uncomfortable uh, situation. And then maybe a, a year or two later, yeah. she offered me the part, and uh, I've been uh, thinking about it uh, ever since. I started to write it like five years ago when I was myself in kind of a reflection about couple, love, intimacy, desire. And for my second screenplay, I wanted to like dig in a rom-com or like romantic uh, film. You know, when you're on Facebook and people are like, can you ask, can you give me some uh, reference or like uh, um, uh, uh, for, um, uh, for uh, romantic movies and stuff. And I was like, I, w I would like to be adding this list one, I would add one, one day. So yeah, I wanted to, to write a love story uh, in, um, on the perspective of a female gaze, uh, obviously, and feminist uh, way. And then I started to uh, read some uh, philosopher about uh, what is love, and I started to write this, uh, this story. Um, it's very interesting because the, the, the screenplay, the script is so very funny. It's obviously a comedy. But uh, Mania didn't direct us uh, that way. We worked on a, a very serious level. The, the characters aren't um, conscious. They, they, they don't know, they're not aware that they're actually in a comedy. And when you fall in love, there is a, something so beautiful, but also a little bit pathetic about the intensity yeah. of everything. And so she directed us, uh, the, 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 the comedy emerged from the rhythm, the, the writing and the situations. But um, she, she really directed us in a very human way to add levels and deepness to the characters and what they were going through. Well, we did it with like so much love and, and happiness and tenderness. And so it's, it's really what I want to offer to people. Like I want that people go to cinema and like in, in, the, in the love stories, you, you feel kind of comfy in a way. Uh, and, when, and that's why people go back to, you know, people see like rom-com a uh, few times, like a few think of like uh, Bridget Jones of the Bridges of Madison County it's like people like to to uh, re uh, rewatch those kind of movies so i want people that feel kind of a big tenderness and have of course a time of fun watching it because it's still a comedy but um, yeah uh, i'd like people to refer to that movie as um um maybe um a new way of uh, thinking about uh, intimacy and love and uh, putting it on screen. I think that's what uh, Mania did. I think it's a new era.